ate a ton of chocolate that you're about to see in this video and I sat down with it and I really just ate like six pieces of chocolate. So there's chocolate in my teeth. I apologize. Hey guys and welcome to my um, January favorites. Yep, January. Wow. What a month January has been. Oh my goodness. It has been a, an amazing month. It started off rocky. New Year's Eve was rocky, but after that, it actually was an amazing New Year, which just goes to show, like, it's all about your mindset and the way you want things to be, and I wanted, even though New Year's Eve was terrible, I was like, you know what, this is going to be a good year. 2016 is going to be an amazing year for me, mark my words, it's going to be an amazing year for me, and it's all about mind over matter, and I have never been happier. I can't remember the last time I've been this happy, and it's just all thanks to my amazing friends. It's all thanks to amazing you guys, um, creating music, creating video content, just meeting new people, and I just, I've never been happier. I've never been happier, and I can honestly say that. Um, you know, I don't overthink things anymore. I just let things happen as they that the, as they will, and I, it's the best way to live, and I taken me almost 28 years to feel like this, but I've just never been happier, and I'm so thankful for everyone in my life, so if you're in my life and you're watching this, and that includes my subscribers, thank you guys so much, you've literally have made me very happy, and I'm, I'm, I'm in a really good place and space and everything like that right now, so I'm not going to cry because I just, I'm just really happy, so... Okay, let's go into the actual favorites because this already got emotional. I am so excited. I have so many favorites. I always think I'm going to get through these quickly and it ends up being like a 20 minute video. So we're going to get through it as quickly as I can. Um, we're going to start with beauty. I actually have quite a few beauty favorites actually, which is pretty cool. Because um, I've been, you know, caring about my appearance a little more. And you know, even on the days when I don't film. Because uh, usually I just always wear no makeup when I don't film. Um, but I have been doing mine more often. So I'm going to start with the setting powder. I probably have talked about this years ago because I used to use this a long time ago. The Studio Mac Studio Fix powder. Um, I'm an NC40. Um, I love it so much. My uh, the girl who does my makeup, she's so so amazing. She does all my music videos and photo shoots. Um, her name's Ash K Home, Ash underscore K Home on Instagram. You guys should follow her. She actually said she would do a tutorial for you guys if you guys want to see any makeup look. If you go on my Instagram or her Instagram and you see any makeup look you want, like con comment and say that you want to see that tutorial because she's like, I'll do it 100%. I'll do it. I'll even do it slow for them and everything. So she's super sweet. She got me this for Christmas as like a touch up powder because it's the powder she uses on my face. So she got me a whole little touch up kit and I have been using this every single day in January and I love it so much. Um, it's kind of like. <clears throat> One well, that's been around for a while, but it's it's amazing and it's what I use, so I don't have to like blot so much. And it just gives a nice like matte finish without having to like take off your makeup or making it too dry. And I love it so much. Um, I actually have all MAC pretty much for beauty for makeup. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. As far as highlighters go, I always thought like Becca Opal was like the best that you could get. And also that JD Glow one I've talked about, it's that's amazing too. I do love the JD Glow. That was like my 2015 favorite highlighter, but this is definitely going to be a 2016 favorite. I can just tell already. I love it so much. I got this at the end of December, and it's so gorgeous. It's called Old Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I actually got mine off eBay because these were so popular to get, and I was like a little worried I was going to get a knockoff, and I don't know if this is a knockoff or real, but it is absolutely gorgeous, whatever it is. I think it's real because the sellers seem to have quite a few of these and like seem to have a collection of these, and it was, you know, new in the package and stuff, so... I love it so much. I think I paid like $50 for it, which I think is like probably way over MAC price, but it's gorgeous nonetheless, and I love a good highlight, especially on days when I don't go full out glam. I think it's really, really pretty, and I don't know, I just really like highlight recently. Um, you know, just, just contour that face. And then the other MAC thing I loved is this shadow from the same collection. It's called Moon is Blue. It's actually a pigment, I guess. It's so gorgeous. I actually do my um, waterline and my top eyeliner with this, and Sometimes I just call it a day with that and mascara, and it looks so gorgeous, I think. Especially if you have blue eyes, I think it just brings out your blue and makes them pop, if you will. And the only non-MAC makeup product is this Stila one, which I think is absolutely amazing. I think I've had this, actually, for a while. So, it's called, it's just insane, medium, stay all day, contouring bronzer for face and body. And it just looks like this. It's a nice, big bronzer. And I just really, really like this because it doesn't look so muddy. I've been paler. Well, you know, I'm kind of tan now because I just did a music video. Oh, yeah, that's a favorite. I have to mention it. Um... But I just did a music video where I'm a little um, more spray tanned, but I am going paler. But I think this is really nice for when you do get paler um, because it can, you can do it soft, you know. And it looks dark because it is a medium, but it goes on a lot lighter than it looks, which I like, but some people may not. But that's by Stila. And on that same note, I should mention this at the top of the video, a January favorite without a doubt is... My song Playground with Sean. I was so happy to do that video and the song, and it all came out so quickly. And I just had 
so much fun on that video. It was such a great music video because I, you know, I got to do it with Sean. It's fun just to get to do a video like that with someone you love so much. And it just was so awesome to get to share that experience. And not only that, he's so talented. The dancers were so talented. The choreographers were so extremely talented. Um, Melanie, um, Lewis, and... Leo Moctezuma and if you guys don't know Melanie or Leo, Melanie was a Beyonce dancer. You can like look her up at her thing when they do when they announce the dancers in the same Melanie. She's like the girl that does like the high kick. She's amazing and she also uh choreographed uh part of or she like assistant choreographed or maybe choreographed for less and the movie. And then um Leo was Britney Spears' dancer. He was the one that always got to make out with her, who was on the bed with her. He was just had the checkered hair, he was everything to me. So they were um also choreographed with it and it was just it was just a really cool experience and such a different video and different song than I normally do. And the good news is I want to do more songs like that and I hope that you guys liked that sound and vibe. And if you guys want to check it out on iTunes I'll link that below and if you guys want to check out the video I'll link that below as well. And of course check out my Trisha's Live channel, my second channel if you want to see behind the scenes of all that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so for skin products, I love this. This is a great um, makeup remover. Oh my god, it's, it's actually like amazing. I use this as a cleanser and makeup remover. It's called Peaches and Clean Deep Cleansing Milk. Um, melts Away Makeup, and it's from Soap and Glory. And this smells so good. I have never had a better smelling face product on my face. It smells so good. And you, you, you basically pump it out and you put it in your uh, hands like this and you like massage it in just like the movie Showgirls, like Gina Gershon and Slow Showgirls, and it takes off the makeup. It literally melts it away. It's actually kind of remarkable. I do put it in my eyes. I don't know if you're not if you're not supposed to remove your eye makeup that way, but it takes off all your eye makeup remover at night, which is very hard for me to do normally. And it is so amazing. It smells so good. And this is the Soap and Glory um, Peaches and Clean. And I love it so much. And this is, it's a huge bottle. Like, I mean... It's huge. Um, and I use it kind of as a cleanser too. So like if I'm like really lazy, I just like do that. And then I don't do my whole regime after. So this is a kind of a new favorite. Last week for Sean's birthday, he was over here. And we were opening up um, boxes in my house. I have an itchy nose. Hold on one second. We were opening up boxes. Oh, he was opening up because I hate opening up boxes. But my mom and Sean love opening boxes. So I was like, can you open my boxes for me? He's like, duh. Um, okay, so this is amazing. We were putting this on each other's face. He opened this. He's like, what is it? I'm like, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing ever. So expensive, you guys. So expensive. But I've heard so much about this. Like, I've heard so much about it just from the past year or two. and Or maybe just like the past few months. I always think it's like a year or two. But maybe it's like literally since last summer. I wanted this and it is the Lay Prairie Switzerland, I don't know, Cellular Radiance Fluid Perfector. It is um, 24, what is it? Is it it's, I know it's gold something, hold on, let me see. Perfecting Pure Gold Skin Care for Face. This is amazing. This basically fills in your wrinkles, it gives you that collagen. For people who think I have had like fillers on my cheek and stuff, I don't. One, it could either be fat. Um, but two, it could be this because lately I've been getting that again that I've been getting fillers or like her eyes look sunken in. Well, maybe I'm getting old, maybe I'm getting fat, or maybe it's this pure gold that I've been using. And it is so nice. You just need a very small pump. We were putting it on each other's faces. I was putting it on like his forehead, and then I was putting it on like my like eye wrinkles. And I just think it's amazing. I use it underneath my eyes, and I do use it on my frown lines. Um, I should use it more here. <laughs> I think I could probably use it, but I think this is amazing, and I love it so much. It's just. You can feel it taking effect. It kind of tingles on your face, and it's actually like the only. Um, well, I use this B Enigma stuff, which I really did like too. I just haven't reordered it, but this kind of gives me that same feeling. I just feel like it kind of just plumps it up even more, which I really, really like. And you can use this on guys and girls, and also on sensitive skin because Sean has sensitive skin, and he did not break out from it. So I love it. I do keep it in my little little case it came in. It's so bougie. I just think it's amazing. I think I got it on like Barney's or something. I don't know. Just type in the name. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. And then the only other thing for beauty is my hairbrush. <laughs> I got this from Sephora just because I needed a brush. I keep this in my purse and it's actually a lifesaver. Like it's just amazing. So if you have like unruly hair, if you have weave, if you have extensions, so you gotta like make sure you brush out. Especially if you spend the night, like I start spending the night at people's houses more. You know, it's just nice to have when you like have to brush out your hair at night, you know, or in the morning so you don't have like these like tangles and snarls. So I love that brush. It's really good because usually I got my brushes at like this place called Namie's, which is like a hair salon style only, but now that I can get brushes for it, I know they're amazing. This brush is amazing. It's just like my favorite brush I have. I have a silver brush from Namie's I'm obsessed with and I've used it for the past literally five years, but this is like just as good and I put it in my purse and I love it. Um, I don't know if I should go to bags or what should I go to. I have two purses and two sunglasses, two candies. I have so much two of everything. Also, you guys, uh, Valentine's Day is still coming up, so if you want to order your exclusive Trish Cupid shirts, it's so, so cute. All I need is love, and it's crash, 
<laughs> scratched out and it says chocolate and it has bougie as fuck chocolate up here that's what it says on there bougie as fuck chocolate and then it has a little trish a cupid trish i love it so much i've been wearing these so much i post them on my instagram i make everyone wear them i think they're just literally the cutest thing they're so girly when i saw it i like actually died i actually screamed so i got mine in pink but i also have one in yellow and white and black and gray and i just i absolutely love them we have cute sweatshirts and stuff so if it's cold where you live you know you can get those and you get those at trishapetis.spreadshirt.com and that's where i also got my phone case which i think is so cute i get so many compliments on it it's just a little cupid trish which i think is adorable shooting y'all with love um okay we got my purses so this is the purse i've been carrying this month and it's my custom trish purse from etsy.com slash shop slash the ill lines um it does it's, it's just an amazing bag i just love it so much it's nice and slouchy it has my little crystal sunglasses like my for my lolita shoot it's got a lot of room in it it's just it's just really a nice bag i really like it. it's great quality i've been tossing it around and carrying it everywhere and i absolutely love it so so much you guys can get one of these also on the ill lines if you want to go there and use my code i think it's just trish still and you get 10% off. I use it all the time because, you know, I love to shop there. We also have a collaboration of clothes. So if you guys want to check that out, it would be under the Trish section of the Etsy shop. I don't run it. I don't ship it out. So everyone's like, I feel like you own it. And you're just saying you're not. I don't. Like, it's a different person. I think they're in Michigan or something. Um, they're just really great. I was a client or customer of theirs. And we just kind of built a great relationship, you know, through all this stuff. So, yeah. So definitely check that out if you want one of those. Um, there's like also also really great goodies in there. They can like bring out Starbucks shoes, anything you want. Um, okay, the other thing is another purse I got, and this is so amazing. I was watching a girl, and I can't remember once again. Oh my god! So she had this in a favorites, and I went right away to the Betsy Johnson website to like look to see. You know, I didn't know Betsy Johnson was still in business. I thought they like had gone bankrupt or something so I didn't know they were still in business and so I went right away it was completely sold out I went on Amazon it was sold out I couldn't find it anywhere so I kept checking eBay for like weeks and I finally found it it is absolutely gorgeous it is a purse um, which I have worn out as a purse which I might actually wear out today as a purse because um, it's a birthday today that I'm celebrating so not my birthday but a birthday so I might actually wear this out it's a cute little gift and it's really cute how it opens it just opens up like a gift and has the cute Betsy Johnson interior I love Betsy Johnson I'm such a Betsy Johnson girl when I when I was really sad when the store were closing because I thought they were so fun to like walk into um but yeah it's a purse I got mine off eBay and it's really really cute and also on that really really cute girly thing these are oh my god these are life I also got these on eBay they took a little while oh no I got these on Etsy I'm sorry I just stumbled across them I was not looking for them I stumbled across them and I said yes these are ruby slipper replicas from the movie that are actually shoes that you can walk in and they're really comfortable the heels are a perfect height but they look so like uh, Judy Garland's or Dorothy Gale uh, from Wizard of Oz. I think they are just such a good replica. The sequins they use are, and the way they lined them make them look like the ruby slippers. And I think they are so gorgeous. Like, I just think they're adorable. I've worn them out twice and I get, I, I, this is not an exaggeration. I've never gotten more compliments on any pair of shoes, any purse, any, anything, hair, makeup, nothing than I have on these shoes. People die. They flip form. Like, even people who don't look like friendly people are just like, where did you get those? Those are so gorgeous. They're amazing. And I was like, thank you so much. I love them. And you can get them on Etsy. And I don't know the store. I think it's Etsy. It might be on eBay. I don't really know. I just know I stumbled upon them like so randomly. Um, okay, I'll save my chocolates for the end. I also have sunglasses, but before that, this has been my vlogging camera. I started using this in December, and I'm obsessed with it. At first, I thought it was a little too high def, good quality. I'm like, okay, this is showing, like, my flaws, and I don't need all that. But I got used to it, and it's not a fisheye lens, which is, I also got used to. But Joey Graceffa had this, and when he vlogged with me the first time we, like, vlogged together, I don't know, maybe in, like, November or something like that, I was just like, I watched the video back and I thought I looked really good. But then when Shane texted me, he goes, whatever camera Joey has, you need to buy it because you look fucking flawless in his vlog. And I was like, okay, yeah. So I was like, I need to. So he was super sweet. Like some of the times like, people won't like want to tell you the camera they use. I don't know. People are weird sometimes. Of course, Joey just texted me right away. It's the Canon G7X. And I got this. A lot of actually YouTubers, I guess, do use this. I guess I just didn't know. Um, it has the flip up screen like this. So you can see yourself. And I do look at myself. And then you can flip it down if you want to like film. The only bad thing with this camera is the focus. The focus kind of sucks. If you watch my second one, I swear I'm always like taking like two minutes to focus it sometimes. And sometimes when you flip it really quickly, it doesn't focus. It kind of sucks. I feel like there should be a better feature. It's on autofocus. So it does end up focusing. But I feel like it should be a setting. If anyone knows how to do that but other than that it's a, like the best quality camera I've used for vlogging um, I do love my next six um, from Sony for pictures but this is definitely my favorite vlogging camera and it's what I've been using so I thought I would mention that 
Um, and then I have two pairs of sunnies. I just couldn't decide either because I wear both of these equally. Um, this is my Wild Fox sunnies, and I wear all these on my blogging channel, so if you guys want to check that out, you'll see them. But this is this pair, which I think is super cute. These are very, like, directory. They're very big for, like, you know, if you have a big face. They're very big, oversized glasses, and I love this, like, little blue-green with the Dora shell. I think it's like super unique and I like this little like metal part of it. I just think it's like super cool. I put them on but you know girls gotta go out and look cute today so not about that sunglass life no matter how bright that sun is. And then the other ones I get so many compliments and people ask me all the time and I, I I just forget to answer. So here's the answer. They are the Chloe sunglasses because literally everyone asked me this. These are bug eye sunglasses and they're round, which you wouldn't think would go good with round faces, but I die for these. I live for these and they are just so gorgeous and these are very oversized. These are very like 70s, retro, porn star glam and I'm obsessed with them. I do wear them on my Snapchat and my vlog, so if you guys want to see them on, um, you guys can go there or on my Instagram and Twitter at Trishpatis. And my Snapchat is Trisha on YT for those who want to know. I know, it's like just, uh, it's crazy. All my names were taken. I'm just so famous. <laughs> kidding um okay so now for the fun part chocolate so i have been obsessed with both of these i've gone through about four bags of these and about well half of this which is crazy um these i love because i have a little snack on these are the caramel kisses they are so freaking good if you watched my target valentine's day haul you've seen them i'm obsessed they're literally just so delicious they have the most caramel in it ever and it's so gooey and i just love it so much they are so yummy and i literally eat like three pieces of these and then before i filmed i literally had one, two, three of these. These are the ultimate chocolate. They have hazelnut in it. They are just so good. Every time I eat one and I like see someone even an hour later, like, ooh, what were you eating? It smells so good. And it's always this. It's just so yummy. It's like the best chocolate ever. I call these bougie chocolates. I feel like they're so bougie. I stayed in a hotel one time in New York like a long, long time ago when I was like, I don't know, 18 maybe. And I was in a bougie, bougie hotel and they had these on the pillow and I was like, oh my God, I love them. And you, see, you can get these at like grocery stores. I'm not really sure where this big one came from, but um, I should get it online or something. I don't know. Amazon maybe? I don't know. Um, but it is so good. I love these so much. They're actually my favorite candy. So for Valentine's Day, if you don't know what to get your girl, get her some Ferrero Rocher because they are so amazing. And I think that is it for my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do you guys like that I have no... Um, I'm not so cleavagey today. I'm not busting out of my of my shirt. I really love this. It's very Lolita and it's really cute. And I actually was doing something this morning that you guys will see in due time, probably in February. So stay tuned for that so you know what I'm doing and you'll recognize the dress and be like, oh, that's what she was doing. And I just finished. Oh, I just finished and then filmed it this. So. Anyways, I love you guys so very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, if you want, I will link below if you guys want any of the Cupid t-shirts. Um, I'll link that below on my sweatshirt. And if you want to check out the playground video, it would be really appreciated if you guys would go over, give it some love. Um, it would be awesome because it was such a video and I dance my butt off in it. So definitely go watch and you can see little Trish in it. It's very cute. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for having an amazing impact on my life. Thank you for it. Thank you for, yeah, I guess thank you for having an amazing impact on my life. I don't know if that's a way to say it. Thank you for impacting my life in an amazing way. Maybe that's how I'm supposed to say it. Because I've, I'm, I swear, I've, just, I've literally, I've just, I struggle with depression for so long. And it's, I, sometimes I forget what it's like to be happy when I'm not on medications and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's kind of nice to not have to be on anything to make me feel happy or to even just stabilize my mood. It's kind of nice to have this peace in my life. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what the change is, but I'm really happy for it. I'm really thankful for it. And I pray to God every day that it continues. And I'm just living the life and rolling with it. And I think that's the best way to live. So I love you guys so very much. And thank you guys for watching. As always, I want to say hi to Maranis. And until next time, here my kisses for my little baby fishies. My lips are so hard to do it now. Ah. <laughs> Bye, guys.